You want to shoot this uh, binary? You want to have you ever shot? Oh, my sweet mother of God. Are you kidding me? Oh! <laughs> oh. Okay, so you just asked me if I want to bang your supermodel girl? Oh my God! Every time you shoot, it's like a punch in the face. Literally, it's like. So in binary mode, it gets even crazier. You think you can handle this, Kyle? Always. Oh, he said always. We go and see. Miles, what you think? The Smith & Wesson Gen 1 40 caliber right here. The Micro Roni brace on here. I am gonna get an AK soon, and when I do, I'm definitely getting in a binary on there too. That's what you see in the movie. Do not do that when you have white rounds. Throw me in my cap gun. Yeah, this is what happens, man. Yes, sir. This is uh, my PAD Glock 26 right here. Oh, I like the sight profile on that. I like to just build guns. Yeah. Could go to the store and just buy a bunch of Glocks, buy a bunch of AR. As soon as I turned 21, I just wanted to learn about everything. So once I started learning that, I'm like, man, I know how to build this. How do you even put a gun in a micro on you? Slide it, slide it a minute right there. And then forward and Oh, boom, it just snaps right in there. Yep. It's a great platform. I really like it, but mm -hmm. I, at least for me, like maybe I just have a screw with it enough. Yeah. It doesn't move as smoothly as it does. Um... Okay. Yeah, this is a bad part of the video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll edit this part out. Make sure y'all subscribe, mm. though. This is just going to be a great range, eh, man. Pop the mag. Yeah, so you actually have to kind of rock the magazine in a little bit. You're going to catch the lip on there and then click and it then in. And then click it in there. Okay, so you can't just put it straight in there? No, check it out. It just won't fit. No, because that lip there has to catch on the inside. Oh. And then it catches. Rock it what if you had like, do you have that memorized? Is that like muscle memory for you? Yes. Okay, that's what I was going to say. Because for me, I would have a problem with that. I'd be like, oh, what's going on? Why my mag not going in? <laughs> See this? I'm just ready to go. Do, do, do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not looking, not looking, not looking. Oh, oh, right there. Okay, let's not put that in the video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. All right. Let's see, let's see. In my defense, I have not shot this in a bad boy in a while. Yeah, no, no, no. I believe right. you could definitely do it because I can't even do it. Get away. Let's see. <laughs> I can't wait to. <laughs> I love the second amendment. I love hearing yes. so much information. Yes. You know what, man? I, I am so fucking glad I met you guys. Cause like, Me too. So, so much like division and, and so much like racial divi division in the world. For right sure, now. yeah. It's like, oh my God, you're white and you like guns. You must hate black people. Oh. Exactly, you're black and you have a lot of guns. Like you must do crimes. So yeah, this is like breaking that border, you know? Yes, that's yes. exactly what I'm saying, my man. Yes, sir. If you just put all that stuff to the side and just love everybody, you know what I'm saying? And just come out here and exercise your rights. Yes. This is what happens, man. Yes, sir. Make connections. A lot of good stuff coming from this channel, man. I'm telling y'all. Subscribe. More stuff coming soon. Even if fouling that gets into your weapon, you know, it doesn't have as much space to go around like my AK does. Yeah. It sounds good. Call of Duty guns. That AK is made in Romania? Yeah, the Wasser 10 is made in Romania. At the same factory, the Romanian army makes their own AKs. Wow. I know that thing runs good, then. I mean, if you, got, if you were to like, do like a thing to like compare that to your AR pistol. We could do that for sure. Okay, um, we, we could do that for sure. So we have, and of course, everything is unloaded. Always. Safety is important, kids. Safety checks. Clear. Yes. So yeah, like right here on the table, you know, we've got the Glock from Austria. You know, we've got the uh, Taurus made in Brazil. We've got the M&P made in America, and the AR made also made in America. Now, um, where's the six hour site from? Six hours from Germany. And then there's the, the ammunition, like you know, my nine mil stuff here. You know, that's Winchester ammo right there. That's okay. Of course, America is obviously represented here. I guess. Of course, but, yeah. Okay. You know, we gotta um, represent our country, but we got stuff from all across the world. We got Don't stuff from all across the world. Actually, here we go. My ammo for my for my American made pistol was made in Russia. Russia. Wow. Yeah, my tool ammo. Russia. Wow. 
Uh, see, this is another thing that I learned about guns that I love now. So when people ask me, why do you like guns so much? Why, why do you like shooting? It's more than that. We can bring the whole world together just on the table right here, just by exercising our Second Amendment rights. Right? Yes. Yes, sir. We did a lot, a lot of talking. I am so ready to shoot. Are you ready to shoot? Absolutely, sir. Let's get straight into it, then, man. Let's go. Whatever you want to shoot first, but if you want, you can pick that thing up, man. Do you want to shoot the MP? Actually, I'll admit that. Go ahead. That's my baby. Her name's Winona. What? Good. How are you? How was shooting? Good. Oh, I'm always good. Yes, sir. You're right. Nitro cellulite. Somebody tell me in the comments what are nitro cellulites. Let's see. You Kyle, you know what nitro cellulites are? I do not. Not a Ah, uh, you know? Yeah, um nitro cellulites are um Boy, if you don't get <laughs> you do not know what no nitro cellulites are, stop lying. If y'all know what nitro cell the first comment, I'm gonna give y'all something. Matter of fact, I might give y'all a magazine. The first person to tell me what nitro cellulites are in the comments, I'm gonna give y'all a magazine. He said it's always a good day when you're burning nitro cellulite. So my guess is it's probably I don't know. Yeah, this is a 40 caliber too, right? Yes, sir. Now a lot of people like the 40 gets a bad rap in the gun community. Yep. I'm a fan personally because it hits harder than a nine, but you get better ammo capacity than a 45. Exactly. Like for example, with this the M&P pistol here, um, like the nine mil, like I I think carries 17 if I remember right. This holds 15. You know, so you only lose two rounds, but you're hitting harder. The 45, you got 10 rounds per mag. You know, so I like the happy medium there. All right, ready to go? Yes, sir. I'm ready. Air protection, eye protection. Yes, sir. Okay, so I'm just gonna put one round down. Yep. And then we're gonna um, see where that hits. Perfect. And All these guns, man. Right? <laughs> oh wow, that was way that off. <laughs> yeah, it was a little left. Oh, That's left and high. I mean, that doesn't look way off to me for the first shot. Without being sighted in, that was pretty good. So now I'm just gonna hold the, um, I'm gonna have the gun lined up, and I'm just gonna walk the target over to you know where it hit right now, uh -huh. and then rinse, wash, repeat until it's consistently hitting where I want it to be. All right, we about to see. So this is how you sight in the red dot sight, y'all. Yeah. That's just a little tool that you use to turn it. Yes. Yeah, just a hex wrench. But just right here on the side here, and that's just moving the sight over a little bit to the left where I okay. want it to line up where the round just hit. The link attached is actually right here. Oh, and that little screw part right there? Yeah. Um, so it was like an, it was like another $200 to get all the bells and whistles, but very much worth it. Like the red dot alone, I would pay $200 for it. 200 for that red dot? Well, yeah, it goes from red to green, and you got four different crosshairs to choose from. So, I mean, I, I mean, 200 that's a lot of money, though. I mean, you know, I build these things over here for like 350 Let's see how long it takes you to get this thing sighted in. Oh, yeah, no pressure there. No pressure at all. <laughs> I mean, your first shot, you said that was pretty off. In my opinion, that was not too far away from the red. I mean, it's to the left, but I mean, hey. Yeah, and from shooting at an angle, you were shooting over there. We got this cleared out for you, so you should be lined up now. So we got just one round in here. And safety first. Oh, that was dog shit. Let's see. That was too. Oh, I think I was. That was pretty good. No way. Green. That's in between the back of the green. Just gotta walk the side over a little bit more. A tiny bit to the right. On the second shot, he almost has a zero there. We definitely gonna let him zero in the AR. Let's see. Oh my! The bulls? That's literally a little to the left. It's it's right on target. It's right on target, just a little to the left. Okay, I see it now. Okay. All right, this one should be dead center. Let's see, he called it dead center. Literally hit the same exact spot. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> you want to give it a shot? Yeah, 
Sure, I'll give it a shot, yeah. Is it kick? Not really. I mean, it's a pistol round and you got three points of contact. Do you have it sitting down like this? Yeah. Next to his. Right next to his, yeah, literally. Yeah. So maybe, I don't know. Okay, so like this. Yeah, but when did his kind of false fish mm -hmm. like elevation is kind of lower that sight down a little bit? Yeah. I thought I had it, I had it pretty lined up. I kind of anticipated the trigger point though. I never shot this before. I won't lie, I was a little nervous. But after this adjustment, I think it should be lined up well. He did this in like, what? Two little hex hex wrench turns or whatever. Ah, oh shit! I triggered two because of bullshit on that one. Uh, where do you think you hit at? I have no idea, but it shows how it wasn't where I was aiming. <laughs> I probably shot high. All these bugs, man. <laughs> Yo, let me tee up with him. Boy, if you don't... That one looks like... It was white it's in the green. Yeah, in between the two, my shot and your shot at the top. Yeah, I see that. It's got the three of them there. Yeah. yeah. Little Mickey Mouse. Actually, do you guys want to shoot? I don't want to be hogging up. I would do the same thing if it was mine. <laughs> Only thing, can you, can you help me zero in your mind a little bit later? Absolutely. Actually, if you, want to, if you want to try it right now, I can kind of walk it through a little bit. Sure. Sure. Are you sure you don't want to finish yours? Nah. We're kind of getting a little low on sunlight. Yeah. And I don't want to be a jerk. And... No, no, you're good. You're good. You're trying to make a living, man. I'm not gonna, you know. Right here, every time you shoot, it's like a punch in the face. Literally, it's like doosh, doosh. So in binary mode, it gets even crazier. So before I even shoot it, I'll let you shoot the first shots if you want to. You don't even have to zero it in or anything. You can shoot it, whatever you want. But here, oh, thank you, sir. No problem at all. That's very generous of you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I think it's about five rounds in there. All right. Did you charge it? Nope. It's on safe still and everything. It might have not charged because I think it was on safe. I don't know. Oh, okay. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, did it not fire? No. See if one's in the in the That might have to give it a little pull. Oh, it looks like it wasn't. Oh, maybe oh. slap that slap that mag in there. Here, let me see. Hold this mouse. Hold this. <laughs> You know what? No, I'm not going to switch up the mag. I would say it might be the key mag, but I don't think it is. I think we're good now. Yeah, we should be good. Here you go. Yeah, we should be good. All right, everybody good? All good. That might be. I don't even know. I don't even know. I, I think that was already there. I don't know. There's a few more in there. I think there's like six here. I'm gonna shoot without the mag real quick. I like the trigger on that. I'm just not used to an AR trigger. So that's a freaking armory one, too. Like, it's not bad. It's just definitely something I'm not used to. I say it's a little more stiff than the AK pistol, but also smoother. Okay. Um, so it's definitely not bad. It's just not, not what I'm used to. Right. Um, I can definitely feel it throwing me off right now. <laughs> For sure. Where did your last shot go? Um, that's a good question, actually. I don't see where it hit. Um, I mean, with, the, with trying to sight this in, though, too, it's entirely possible it might not even hit the target. You know what? Actually, if we go down there, we'd be able to see because those 40 rounds are going to be a much bigger diameter than the 223s. I actually even hit that. Okay. Right oh, here. okay, okay. Okay, so you're shooting to the left. Yeah, so like, so now, like, whenever you go back there, like, at least this is how I, like, sight my shit in, is 
you know, this is where I was hitting before. So you want to keep it nice and steady, pointed to where it was before, and kind of walk the sights over to here. Because, mm -hmm. you know, that's obviously where the rounds are hitting. And then rinse, wash, repeat till you hit where you want it to be. Alright. It'd be it's, hard to stay in target with something like that, but... It's definitely got a little bit of kick to it, too, especially for a 2-2-3. Sure. That's impressive. Yeah, for sure. It's powerful. Mm -hmm. It's powerful. You want to give us some, a few more shots? Yeah, actually, do you mind if I use your bag for a rest? Go ahead. Yeah, anything. Anything. Alright, you guys clear? All good. Ears, eyes. It's probably going to be on point, but it should be closer. Alright. I think that might be right to the left. If you clear it, and we can go take a look down there. Yeah. That's hilarious. Look where it was. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. literally right above the same spots as the last shots. Wow. <laughs> did you move them at all? Did you move I the did. side? I did. I don't know. You know what? The caps might... Wait, is this? I'm an idiot. Are these just caps? Because sometimes it's just caps on these. Yeah. And you have to use a screw to actually adjust. I don't know. I'll tell you what, man. Like I kind of shown you how to do it. This is your rifle. So do you want to get? You want to try and? Sure. Like my trigger pull is gonna be different from yours. Exactly. Um. So you know, if I got it zeroed for me, it might not work for you. All right. Okay. So you see how the bag first off is holding, helping hold it pretty steady. Yeah. And also, since I took the mag out, you can get a little lower when you're going prone. Yeah. So as you're holding that, you actually you want to try and walk the um, sight over top of where the rounds were just hit at. Okay. Uh, did, did you see this moving when you were doing that? Uh, yes. Okay. You gotta really try to hold this thing steady too. Yes, that's the pain in the ass. That's why. I wonder if these are just cap heads. Yeah, that's what I was wondering, because, like, I... Because it's letting me take it off right now, so I'm going to see. Oh, okay, that guy's probably... Awesome. That makes a lot more sense. Yep. <laughs> that, that makes a lot more and sense. And that's why I hit down near the same spot three times. <laughs> yeah! I think that should be good. All right, we'll give it another shot. You know, that's why everybody... Different trigger pull, could have knocked it off. I could have been all the way over here. Who knows? Off a of binary mode. Yes, sir. Binary. You think you can handle this, Kyle? Always. Oh, he said always. We're going to see. Miles, what you think? <laughs> I don't know, he, he kind of dealt with you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Alright, you guys ready? Yeah, let's get it. Alright. <laughs> oh, is that, that it? Beautiful. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's... I'm gonna need a minute, boys. <laughs> <laughs> that thing, yo, that thing gets you fast, man. You actually shot it faster than I shot it. Is it, oh, there's still a few rounds in there too. You could have kept going. Well, we had a, had a jam. That's why I had to stop. Oh, you had a jam? I didn't even realize that. Okay, we had one jam. That's actually the first jam with this gun. Sounded like fireworks out here. All right, you guys ready? I'm ready. Another one? Light primer strike or something, anything, huh? Yeah, that's what it was. It might be the ammo. It very well could be. It definitely got hit. I just mm -hmm. didn't engage. Oh, dude, that is sweet. You sold me on binary triggers. So. <laughs> you might need one of those boys, don't you? Oh, that just made me happier than a priest and a Chuck E. Cheese. What? Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> hey, yo, what? <laughs> and you can actually get the binary triggers on your AK-47, actually. Yes, that is true. Yeah, Franklin Armory does make them for the AK-47s. I am going to get an AK soon. And when I do, I'm definitely getting a binary on there too. Because, man, oh, man. Franklin Armory, y'all need to sponsor my channel. MDX, y'all too. Spam their Instagram pages and just tell them to come sponsor. Pick a crosshairs or if you want to go blue or green. Yes, sir. Blue, you said? Or blue or green. I'm sorry, red or green. Red, red or green. green. Blue that one. I want to flash you, brother. Is there already one in the chamber? No, there is not. Okay. The Smith & Wesson Gen 1 
40 caliber right here with the micro Roni brace on here. We also have a red dot optical. And it's got like the different, the reticles all change um, depending on what your personal preference is. Oh, okay. Yup, and I'm changing the brightness by turning it more and more. I bet, I bet. I like that right there. We're gonna keep it on the brightest mode possible. First shots out of the 40. One in the chamber. Y'all boys ready? <laughs> Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Now you sold me on the micro ronies. I'm definitely gonna have to get one of these for my Glocks, man. This thing is very, very, very nice. It ran super smooth. Look at, look at that chamber. You see, empty, <laughs> no jams. Thank you. Very nice. Oh, thanks for looking. Are you gonna shoot that AK over there? Um, we can't right here. Oh, um, you gotta shoot that over there. Yeah, because like it says, no center fire rifles. Oh, that, so what's the difference between center fire and striker fire? Yeah, striker fire and center rifle, center mm -hmm. fire are completely different things. Okay. Striker fire um, means that uh, it doesn't have a hammer, like an external hammer. Okay, so like a revolver. Yeah, or some, or some or like a nineteen eleven is a hammer fire. True. Okay. Um, a, a center fire rifle is something where the you know with the primers right there in the middle. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like if it's a non center fire rifle, it's a twenty two. The 22s don't have primers. Okay. Oh, I did not know. <laughs> There's another fun fact. 22s don't have primers? No. Really? I had a 22. I didn't even know that. <laughs> so what does it have? Um, just the whole back end of the, of the thing is basically a primer. <laughs> so you just hit that thing and it goes. Yeah. Yeah, if you ever shoot a 22, like it's not, it doesn't always strike right there in the middle. It doesn't it, have It hits all over the place. And I noticed that too. Yes. Makes sense. And learn new things every day. I don't even open like the... Oh, the cylinder releases right here. Right. You just push it forward. No, you gotta push this over there. Oh, there you go. That's nice. <laughs> Old school. Try me and my cap gun. This is an ultra light, so it does have a lot more kick than your than your regular 38s around that size. But it's also made for concealed carry, so it's ultra light, so it's more comfortable to carry. That's what you see in a movie. You don't even know how to. Oh! Yeah. Do not do that when you have live rounds. Though. <laughs> what will happen? I mean, like, you don't want to like. Okay, if you have a gun in your hand, yeah. that is your responsibility you just, for the safety of others to always have control of that weapon. 100%. So if you're just kind of like slinging the cylinder in there. <laughs> like, oh, you. You're right, you're right. Yeah, that would just be very unresponsible. <laughs> oh, Miles, you said it reminds you of cap guns? Oh, well, yeah, like a little cap gun. Exactly. We did used to have the little cap gun revolvers, but load it up. Now that you know how to open it. Let's take 38. Yeah, oh down. my goodness, whoa. Look at the size difference of those bullets compared to a nine millimeter. What is this? It doesn't even, I think those are wad cutters. Wad cutters? We got wad cutters versus the regular FMJ nine millimeter. That 38, man, whoo. Oh, they're semi wad cutters, I'm sorry. Semi wad cutters. I don't even know how to, you gotta load them into the back, right? Yes, sir. You just cock it just like this, right? Uh, you can. Um, that's single action, or you can do a double action where you just straight up pull the trigger. Just pull the trigger. No, I want to do a single action. Okay. Hold up, wait. Well, I mean, they, they both got their merits, like the single action, um, where you got the hammer pull back. Um, you know, you got less uh, distance for the tr trigger to travel, so you're going to shoot a little more accurate. Okay, okay. Yeah, because it'll be like 10 to 10. This little thing is loud, and yeah, it got a little bit of recoil. Try to lean forward a little bit and get your shoulders more into it. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh. Told you. That's it. Yo, oh my. I feel like I can't miss with this. <laughs> if I really got that down, that's perfect. Would you get a revolver? Absolutely.
This wouldn't be like my everyday carry or nothing like that. Do you ever use that as an everyday carry? Yes, I do use that for concealed carry. Why wouldn't you? Six rounds in. Just because I'm not that comfortable with it right now. A revolver, yes. yeah. Why do you use it for everyday carry? What um, situations would it be useful? Uh, personally, I use it in my car. Um, you know, unfortunately, rioting has become a very real issue that people have had to deal with. 100%. Um, so if I was ever in that scenario where somebody's trying to pull me out of my car, that is an advantage a revolver has, is if the attacker is up on you and you have and you have to shove the gun into their body, the revolver's not going to get pushed out of battery like a semi-automatic would. Like a Glock. Correct. And the cases stay in, so if you want to... Yeah, I mean, we're not uh, going to do that. <laughs> If somebody's attacking you in your car, that's actually another good thing because you don't got hot brass bouncing around. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah.